it would probably be at least four years or so yeah. before yeah. it would actually come to market after yes. you know studies and getting FDA Proper approval. Testing. Yes. So um, you know, in the meantime, uh, what we can do as a temporary fix, <laughs> so to speak, is to use coconut oil and MCT oil right. um, to uh, help uh, you know provide a level of ketones um, in the body to hopefully slow down the progress, uh, stabilize the disease, and in some cases even improve, um, such as Steve has improved. Right. Um, Steve, uh, in 2008, shortly before, in conjunction with the um, screenings that we were doing, he had another MRI. Right. And he had the normal MRI in 2004. Well, this time he did have considerable uh, atrophy in the brain, considerable uh, shrinkage in the areas that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. The hippocampus and the amygdala and even the frontal and parietal lobes were quite shrunken already. So, um, so this, there's a, a possibility it seems from Dr. Veach's studies with mice that the uh, ketone bodies can actually assist with, the, uh, with new neurons being developed in the brain. So maybe there's some possibilities there. Uh, yes, it looks like uh, ketones might be more than just an alternative fuel for the brain. Uh, they may have to do with um, actually helping new neurons to grow and new nerves to grow. Uh, so there's a considerable uh, potential in that regard for um, reversal of the disease, you know, over a period of time. Um, you know, we have con continued to see some improvements with Steve over the course of the last year. Uh, that we've been doing this. Um, some things didn't happen right away. Um, when I wrote the article in last July, two months after we started this, Steve still had uh, a weird gait. I mentioned that in the, um, in the article. Uh, he would walk very slowly. He couldn't run anymore. He would pick his feet up unusually high when he walked. It was kind of a classic walk for Alzheimer's disease. Uh, that has disappeared. He can actually run again if he wants to. Um, he has a normal gait. Um, he had a visual disturbance. Um, he talked about that a little bit. Uh, he had not been able to read for almost two years. And he explained to me that it was like the words went into little pixels and they would move around on the page. So he couldn't really read. He would just, have, he would just put it down. Um, and that disappeared after about three or four months of taking um, the coconut oil and the MCT oils. Um, and his reading comprehension, he uh, felt, had started to improve recently, you know, where he can actually pick up something and read it. Instead of reading the same line over and over and over to try to understand it, he can now um, read parts of it. Um, we had an interesting thing happen with the, um, you know, the 36 hour day where he came out and uh, he apparently had been reading this book for a couple of hours. And he came out and there was a section about safety. and. Um, he was laughing his head off uh, because it was a discussion about um, hunting and Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> and he said, he said, uh, I can't imagine anybody would want to go hunting with somebody that has Alzheimer's <laughs> disease. <laughs> but it was about gun safety. Uh, right. So we had quite a laugh right. about that. No, we're, we're not recommending <laughs> hunting. Are no, we? no, we're not. We are not. Um, so, um, and then the last really four to five months, it's been more and more noticeable that his short term and recent memory is back. Um, he basically was living in the moment before. Um, he really seemed to have no concept of what happened when, you know, earlier today, yesterday, weeks ago, uh, many, many things that he was forgetting. And now he, you know, has uh, quite good recall of uh, trips that we've taken. We've been to Washington, D.C., um, you know, we've been home to Cincinnati, things like that. He'll remember um, afterward. And we do, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's astonishing mm -hmm. to, to, have, to have continued. Uh, development and improvement and, mm -hmm. and the suggestion is that maybe it's 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 from from new neurons being set exactly. up exactly exactly maybe new connections amongst old neurons but uh, mm -hmm. something new is happening and it's and 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 that's just fabulous mm -hmm. yeah dr veach um he can get levels considerably higher and he's doing you know the toxicity testing now and basically what they do is take healthy volunteers they start with low levels slowly increase the dose over time um, to look for adverse effects. And at this point, you know, he's, they've gotten um, up to levels 10 times as high as what we've been able to get, you know, with Steve taking coconut oil or MCT oil and uh, without any adverse effects. That's wonderful. Wow. Um, so um, this is a very, very hopeful thing, you know, for many, many diseases. Um, I 
gave a list before. Another to mention is Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, right. a very devastating disease. Um, these people may also benefit uh, from this particular treatment. Yes. Um, so Dr. Veach um, is planning to study Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease, hopefully coming up soon. The big problem is that he can only make about 10 pounds a week of right. this ketone ester in his lab. Well, that's enough to test people for toxicity, but um, considering how many millions of people now have Alzheimer's disease, uh, it's about 5.3 million that are estimated to have it. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to need tons of the ketone ester. Yes. Um, he's going to need a facility to make it in large enough quantity to study it. So he's, he's looking for financiers to, to build a, a, large, uh, a large facility. And he'll be looking for that almost immediately after his uh, human trials are finished. I exactly, think. after the toxicity studies are done, then mm. to, in order to be able to study uh, a disease such as Alzheimer's, um, you need to study thousands of people, right. really. Right, so he need, he'll need a larger plant even for that. Right, he'll need a, lar a large plant uh, just to yes. do the studies. So it's gonna take a lot of money and some time yet to, uh, before the, the full benefits are had from that. Right, right. From that ketone body. And it's going to take a process. It's going to uh, probably take um, a, several years you know, before it would come to market. However, <laughs> in the meantime, um, in we, the can, meantime, do we can do coconut oil. <laughs> at, right. Yeah, right. Um, well, I, fi I find my tennis improves if, and, and, uh, and I feel mm -hmm. more alert when, mm -hmm. I'm, when I increase my. I've, mm -hmm. Since reading your article, I've increased my consumption of my own coconut oil. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I was using it before, now I'm using more of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think for prevention, um, yes. I have Alzheimer's on both sides of my family. Oh, really? um, so I feel that I'm high risk, and our children are very high risk yes. for this. Um, so, you know, I'm using it for prevention. Yes. Um, I, I myself eat probably the equivalent of three or four tablespoons a day of coconut oil. Mm. Uh, we incorporate it into our cooking. Um, we've basically eliminated most of the other oils and fats from our diet and you know, have gone uh, to mostly using coconut oil. And we've enjoyed it, it's mm -hmm. wonderful. There are wonderful recipes out there. Um, there are recipes on your website. Um, recipes yeah. on yours. Yeah, there are little, some little books you know, written about uh, with coconut oil recipes. And um, a lot of people are working on it now, a lot of people who are, uh, are doing this. Um, I should also mention that um, I've had quite a few people over the last year contact me. Um, the, um, in October of 08, uh, the St. Petersburg Times here uh, ran an article about it and it went viral on the internet, so to speak. It got into many newsletters and I've had very many people contact me for questions, but I have a file folder uh, that's about two inches thick now of people who have emailed me or written me letters telling me how their loved one has improved, improved after starting to take coconut oil. So this has moved out oil. from being a one case, a one case study mm -hmm. with many observations mm -hmm. of that one case to, to what? To dozens one, and dozens. Dozens and yeah. dozens. And then I've read on message boards, you know, there are um, some message boards for um, people who have uh, family members with Alzheimer's. Right. So and there are discussions on these message boards, right. um, lengthy discussions going on page after page after page of people that are trying this that are having some results from it. Right. So um, it is beyond uh, just Steve. Um, it would be wonderful if um, coconut oil could be studied as, you know, a clinical trial in and of itself. But it won't happen because you can't study a natural food, and only the government could af could afford to do that. Right, and, right. And a drug company is not going to with uh, other expenses. Right. right. Now. A drug company is not going to study coconut oil. No. Um, it's already there. It's already on the shelf. Right. Um, so, you know, my personal feeling is there's no harm in trying this. This is something an oil that millions of people in the world use now. They have for millennia. I mean, maybe for millions of years, as far as we know. Um, that um, you know, our species evolved most likely in, in areas that uh, the coconut was prominent.